Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we are going to be filming reorganizing my bathroom closet. Doesn't sound like a lot of fun, honestly, but I know I'm gonna be glad when it's done. So let's get to it. Sana, do you have a bathroom closet that always is a mess? It's always a freaking mess, always. Yeah, Ryan's over there too, somewhere I hiding. I have a bathroom closet. Oh, you don't have, have a bathroom, bathroom closet? Counter that's a mess. So always what happens is I buy things or brands send us things or things that we're using for, um, we're looking at for packaging, sizing, shape, even testing formulations to see if we want to bring things in for heritage or what we do or don't like. And it all just ends up in the closet. So today we are gonna go through, get rid of the stuff I never use, I don't want, I don't need, donate what we can, get rid of what we can't. The rule needs to be if you haven't used it in six months, it's trash or a yes. year. One of the two, they gotta go, bye. Bye. So we're gonna show you all the different ways to store things that we found that are kind of interesting. I want Ellie's life. We just discovered the pushers that I was so excited about have to be built. Dang it all the heck. We have so many of them. So we did nose, nose goes. No, Ryan. <laughs> no, that was Mindy was the one who did it last. Mindy did it last. I always think it gets dirtier and messier before it gets cleaner. We have kind of some tall skinny. We have some wider containers. We have drawers and then the pushers. Okay, we're gonna clean wiping all the shelves. Sean always uh, puts down these liners for me on all my shelves so they stay nice and pretty. I know everyone's gonna tell me that like I should use better cleaning product. It's not as bad for me. And I would love some recommendations. So leave me a comment below on your favorite cleaning products. I'm gonna use one of these bins and make it like a hair tools bin, spray bottles, a hair towel, the Heritage hairball holder. This is just the straightening comb for a blow dryer. But I, I have lots of other tools, but those are the ones I have on hand. So we'll just put these all in here. So we've got a day. box of donations and we've got a box of get rid of, so it's like expired products, things like that. And Ryan is still working away. I'm building things up. We finally found empty shelf space. And oh my gosh, could you just like, even, like how cute is this? And then I can just, you know, <laughs> as I pull them forward, I need them. Love. As you pull them out, the next one rolls up. Uh -huh. yeah, it's because you don't have this one in the I thing. Know. Yeah. It's, it's called a product pusher. Ryan just named this closet and it's hilarious. Okay, what'd you name it? I'm gonna call it the vending machine. Okay, and what happens when somebody takes something? Anytime a child of Mindy's raids it, they owe Senna and I a quarter. You hear that? Camry, Brooklyn, Bailey, Ryland, Pays, Dax. LOL. You owe us a quarter if you take something from here. Senna and Ryan's tips. <laughs> Y'all, we have made it to the bottom shelf. We have made it to where the twins helped consult on <laughs> these cleansing Clean and clear, bars yeah. like a hundred years ago, remember? Oh like, my God. I mean, these are probably what, at least like three years? Why do you still have that? I don't, because- You are a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. I'm actually like the anti-hoarder. I really don't keep the The anti-hoarder just said she's the anti-hoarder after cleaning this entire closet. <laughs> Ask my whole family, they make fun of me for throwing things away. I'm thinking shampoos here, all shampoo stuff, all conditioner stuff here. Maybe like another sliding push product pusher for aerosols or styling products. And then we're gonna do bath stuff. Uh, and I don't know, I'm thinking another product pusher for bath bombs and candles maybe. Drawers for toothpaste and toothbrushes and deodorants. Kind of where my brain is heading right now. So what she's saying is we've still got a long way to go. We still have a long way to go. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're Our working. Little shop over here. I like know. Keeping us snacking. She is. Oh, babe. We got apples and cheese. Nice little healthy That's snack. That's a Sean snack. Apples with cheese. I love apples and like, cheese. Like together. Apples and cheese together. Yeah, yeah you're apple. supposed to. Ew. What's the dealio? Okay, so I think we are going to do creamy body wash here. That's the cherry and amber scent. And then the regular body wash, we're just gonna mix and match the scents. So peony and cypress, mint yuzu, 
couple of those. And then peony and cypress again. There's also a cedarwood and rolly, but I guess I don't have one of those. Oh wait, is this one of them? Yeah, it is. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. It's like your own little Walmart shelf. I know. I love How it. How fun is that? And then I'm gonna do lotion here. Mm -hmm. Again, the lotion comes in a bunch of scents. Cherry amber, mint yuzu, cedarwood and rolly, my personal favorite. That's it on the lotion, it's just those three. So load them up. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Andy. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> <You're> a mess. <laughs> Try to do like one that's all shampoos and one that is conditioners. So I'm trying to find the shampoos because I think we'll have enough to feel like, you know, have five different shampoos and five different conditioners. We have a lot of shampoo and conditioner. Maybe that's it that I have right now, but then we need to get more because I know we, we're missing length check, but that's a good start right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to do a conditioner, so I need another tray. Hairspray, dry shampoo for sure. Update, we've made it through almost all the snacks. And we've added some extra drawers. Looking how pretty. The tooth drawer. The feminine product. The feminine product. Oh, actually, it's probably more than that. This is all your masks, eye masks, face masks, flossers, dental mm -hmm. forms. Pacey's helping us out now, too. Oh, thanks, babe. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I can't wait to see it at the end. And Ryan's still over there building little product pushers. <laughs> Aww. So, Aww. <laughs> you know, you just don't know how many of everything you're going to need. And so we kind of tried to order a whole bunch. But now as we're going along, it's like we need we need a few more drawers. We might need a few more tall bins to kind of fill all the spaces. So now we're just kind of like, where do we want to like put the rest of the stuff? Like figure out how to sort with the last few containers we have. I know we're going to do a drawer for ITK. So we can put that in to have all my cuteness ITK products. Look, we have some guests. Who's Who arrived? Who is here? Hi, Zini Doodle. Hi, Zini Doodle. So there you go. Boom. Boom. Okay, Ryan just left. She's going to the office because we're missing some product that Mindy uses on a day to day. So we're gonna fill those in. Walk them through why you're putting some things in pushers and some things in bins. Okay, so the pushers work best for like the bigger, like rounder bottles. The aerosols work okay, the bath washes work okay, but like when you get into like these, they don't quite stand up, right? And they're all like different shapes and sizes. And I don't really have enough. Like, I don't keep like 20 of them in the back stocks. So I just figured like a little bin with just kind of a little miscellaneous. So it has some foam, it has some split end rescue, it has some dandruff stuff, some leave-in conditioner. It has some exfoliator and some curl cream kind of all in the same bin. And then we just kind of slide it back so they're easy to get to. That's, that's kind of where I'm heading. Okay, we're currently debating actual functionality versus aesthetics. So uh, I always get to this part and I'm like, okay, as a content creator, I want it to be super aesthetic so it looks pretty for you guys and it shows better and whatever, and usually your reels do better, blah, blah, blah. But then as like a human, I'm like, oh, I just need it to work and fit all the stuff exactly the way I need it to fit. Yeah, I finally convinced her to put all the tall drawers down there and we made, we, we figured out an actual functional reason And we to figured out a brush, which I do actually keep a bunch of these. They were just in a different closet. So that made more sense there. And we were organizing. Yeah like hair clips and the elastic cutters. And Mindy is trying to tell me that two more sets of drawers is not gonna fit there. One? Or show them what she did earlier. She goes, she goes, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna measure right there. And then she, she picks her entire finger up. And then I move my finger. And, and I was like, that's not how it works. And you would just pretend. Pretend what, Mindy? What are we pretending? Yeah. <laughs> we're pretending we're done with this closet. Look how far we have come. Don't look too close because we're not done. We're not done yet. We're gonna take a quick break for lunch. Okay, Sean, it's not done yet, but let's go look at the closet. Open it up. Hey, hey, hey. hey this actually looks like a Walmart shelf. All right. Oh, wow. Next level oh, organization. Oh, we sample boxes right there. Look at that, that's nice. We are so close. Look at how good it looks. It's so pretty. We are two stacks of drawers short right there to finish the entire thing, so. We are going to have to pause and order those and then get them here. Then we can complete the whole closet and do our final reveal and products. 
Remember when I said we had to put a pause on the organization of the closet because not we didn't have all the right numbers of pieces of drawers we needed? They finally arrived, and I'm here to show you the final reveal of the closet. How pretty it is. My favorite ad might be these new slider organizers for all the shampoos and conditioners and styling things and all, all the styling things, the bath and body. This little corner right here, because it's candles and bath bombs, I just figured it would be great for like a little giftable section for like teacher's gifts or last minute gifts that I need for whatever, right? Just have a few on hand. Down at the bottom, these are also giftables, but down at the bottom, we have everything from toothpaste, toothbrushes, dental floss, we have ITK right there, we have travel supplies right there, so like travel size, whatever. Feminine hygiene, Epsom salts, deodorants, face pads, Q-tips. These ones are like oversized items, so you can see my overflow elastics, brushes, combs, tanning supplies, hair tools, leftover product that didn't really fit anywhere else, soap, Hand soap, mouthwash. That's Sean's bin. That's just specific skincare like for Dax and Hayes. These are like hair oils, oils that Paisley uses. Different types of curlers, hot tools, some extras, and a tanning machine. I mean, honestly, the whole thing turned out amazing. So, and I know that we'll pretty much keep it that way. Like we, once we get it organized, like our family's pretty good about mostly staying organized. It's just the initial pain of getting it there. Hopefully this video gave you guys some ideas of things that you can do to help organize your bathroom spaces or your product closet in your bathrooms. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that by clicking this button right here. That way you don't miss any videos. You can click over here for other video ideas and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Let me know if there's anything you hated or loved about it. I'm curious, what did I forget? What did I, what did I miss? Let me know.